Hey, it's Coach Tactic Live, and today I've got a box that was sent to me by Primary Arms. Um, they saw a uh, the video we just put out about prisms, and uh, yeah, I know I, uh, I said I didn't have their newest uh, three and five, so they sent me a three and a five. They say so. We'll see what's in the box right after this. Hey guys, today's video is brought to us by Dry Fire Mag. If you're living that striker fire world, uh, you don't want to build bad habits by having to uh, work the slide every time you drop the trigger. So with a Dry Fire Mag, you can go through your drills and yeah, it doesn't function exactly like your trigger, but it is adjustable and you can get pretty damn close. So it's a good idea. I advise you to check them out in the description below. All right, let's open this bad boy up. But I'm one of my smallest knives for this. Get that right. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got in here. All right, paper. And first one in the box here, that's your 5X. Microprism, your 3X microprism, and then let's see, we got a couple of mini reflex 12 o'clock mounts because they know I like to put them, mount them at 12 o'clock. Um, but I think they also make one that uh, goes at an angle 45, I'm not sure, and it'll be on their website. Okay, so let's look at the small one here. So 3X prism. Yeah, you got your directions and your setup. A little bit of Loctite. Like we got a couple of different risers, cantilever. So depending if you need uh, space for your uh, backup irons or or get it closer to your eye for your eye relief. And then there she is. Okay, guys, this is this is pretty cool because look at this. <laughs> that is a 3x scope. So this is the old primary arms 3x scope that I've got on a 5.56 rifle, and that is it's pretty amazing what they've done here, making it that small, and uh, and you know because it's smaller, it's lighter too. So awesome. I'm impressed. I was impressed with them when I played with them at the SHOT Show. Now this is even better. Got a couple of tools here for mounting. And, uh, yep, some extra screws. Now we'll see where all that goes together. Okay. So there's your 3X optic. I'll put it to the side here. Let's break out the, uh, the 5X. Again, got the same, same books and stuff, and pretty much the same mounting hardware. <laughs> and the fact that that's a 5X optic, it's just, that's crazy to me, because uh, just for reference, this is the old 5X optic, and oh my god, this, this must weigh a third. It's, it's really small, really light. So... That's going to be, I, 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 can't, I can't get over it, you know. Very impressed, guys. Good job. Okay, so it's got the same kind of mounting stuff, hardware, tools, all the stuff that you need. Now let's see, let's keep this out for a second. Because these, okay, so I like to run uh, at 12 o'clock. I like to run a, a miniature red dot on top. It gives you a, a more versatile gun. And I actually asked him about this at the SHOT Show when I saw this. I said, oh man, is there a... And he said, yeah, check this out. So this is going to somehow... Okay, I guess i got to take that off there and mount it on here. So it's going to put your... Uh, it's going to put your red dot... Looks like it's going to be sitting right here in front. 
right about the right height you know that you need i mean it's gonna be pretty close to this one i believe but like i said there's a couple different ways to mount it um this looks like it's just a plate i'm not sure which uh which miniature red dot probably the primary arms one huh <laughs> that's probably the footprint um yeah i'm not sure whether they make a little piece of picatinny rail to put on there in case you have something just you know a, a different red dot that you want to you know put on there but uh anyway that's <laughs> you look at that that's insane how much smaller and and how much lighter that is so i'm gonna get these mounted up um i think i'm gonna put both these on five five six guns and we'll get them out to the range um you know the idea of a three and the five x is so you have some you know you can identify targets at distance but having that red dot on top is good for that short range encounter so it makes for a really well-rounded rifle that i found anyway guys uh we're gonna get out to the range shoot this stuff and uh we'll, we'll give you a report on how it did all right guys here we're on the range got the uh, primary arms 5x with the uh, the red dot mounted at 12 o'clock let's see how she goes okay red dot nice and easy you put it right there bullet goes right where it's supposed to 5x to take that critical shot There you go. Now the eye relief, it's a little tight, but if you've got to use that 5X, moving your cheek around to find that perfect eye relief, I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, you know, you're usually talking to targets at a farther distance, so you got a little bit of time. The, the chin weld, find that red dot. That's for your, you know, your, your, your quick uh, acquisitions, you know, where, where that makes sense, right? Target presents itself, chin weld, see the red dot. And then long shot, roll in. It's not too bad, I like that. The uh, the reticle on this bad boy, you got your uh, little triangle there. Works great, uh, demarcations, uh, gives you wind leads and some ranging. Like it so far. Let's try that 3X. Okay, so we got a 3X on this bed, boy. Same thing, red dot mounted at 12 o'clock. Red dot there, boom. Okay, so 3X doesn't have quite the same uh, magnification, obviously, but you got a decent field of view. Really liking the red dot in this uh, in this position. Um, I asked uh, my guy there at uh, Primary Arms, and Scott says they test these by dropping them onto concrete from three feet, like a whole bunch of times. So. If this is set up that way, it should take a fair amount of abuse. Um, you know, I, if you're abusing your scope rifle that bad, shame on you, okay? Or if you're worried about it, you can go to their previous, uh, you know, 3X, uh, the, the Mod 1 or whatever the hell it's called. Um, their uh, two and a half and 3Xs are really heavy. They're built like tanks, like an ACOG. Um, you know, I have bashed those around pretty good and... Uh, they take a beating. Uh, this one's newer. Haven't beat it up quite as much, but we'll beat her up and uh, and see how we do. But so far, so far so good. All right, guys. That's just a quick uh, unboxing and then uh, some range time. You know, first impressions on the new scope. Like I said, I've got. Uh, 
thousands of rounds through uh, earlier Primary Arms uh, models, and they're just rock solid. So I'm not gonna expect anything less than this, but man, a lot smaller, a lot lighter. Um, the 3X is amazing, but the 5X, the, to make it that small compared to you know what it came from, oh my God. Uh, but we'll bash this around a little bit. I'm, I was a little concerned about the, uh, about the way the scaffolding kind of doesn't look as supported as, uh, as the old ones, um, but we'll, uh, we'll let you know how it carries on. All right, guys, that's it for me. If you like this content, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and dude, make sure when you subscribe, you hit the little notification bell, and dude, check our back catalog, because we got a bunch of videos out there, and uh, YouTube is just not pushing us, so you might have to go look for us, but anyway, coach out.